Quid, Argis? he said tentatively to the fat lady, wondering what he would find inside. Her expression was unreadable as she replied, You'll see, and she swung forward. A roar of celebration erupted from the hole behind her. Harry gaped as people began to scream at the sight of him. Several hands pulled him into the room. We won! yelled Ron, bounding into sight and brandishing the silver cup at Harry. We won! Four hundred and fifty to a hundred and forty! We won! Harry looked around. There was Ginny running toward him. She had a hard, blazing look in her face as she threw her arms around him, and without thinking, without planning it, without worrying about the fact that fifty people were watching, Harry kissed her. After several long moments, or it might have been half an hour, or possibly several sunlit days, they broke apart. The room had gone very quiet. Then several people wolf-whistled, and there was an outbreak of nervous giggling. Harry looked over the top of Ginny's head to see Dean Thomas holding a shattered glass in his hand, and Romilda Vane looking as though she might throw something. Hermione was beaming, but Harry's eyes sought Ron. At last he found him still clutching the cup and wearing an expression appropriate to having been clubbed over the head. A fraction of a second they looked at each other. Then Ron gave a tiny jerk of the head that Harry understood to mean, Well, if you must. He grinned down at Ginny and gestured wordlessly out of the portrait hole. A long walk in the ground seemed indicated, during which, if they had time, they might discuss the match.